Okay, so um, the first one that I'm going to do is called uh, Search It for um, Winnetou. So, and this is the CBC doc by Drew Hayden Taylor. So it's basically focusing on appropriation and it's investigating or basically trying to answer the question of whether appropriation is harmful even when it's not done with an intention of harm. Or maybe uh, it could be considered something other than appropriate. Could it be considered something other than appropriation um, when it's not when it's not done with an intention of extraction or intolerance, but one of cultural uh, appreciation or admiration? So uh, to answer this question, he's he's sort of investigating the culture of appropriation in Germany, and it's this um, pan-Indian culture of like German people that are truly interested and admire uh, the culture and I do think that their intention is coming from a good place but is sort of misplaced so and the prob problematic aspects of that um, misplacement create this culture of uh, homogeneity of indigenous culture that is really not actually based on indigeneity or any indigenous culture at all but rather like the romanticized idea of a culture created through film and or in this case the creation of archetypes through the writings of Karl Mai. So and there's other um, problematic aspects in this that um, Euro Eurocentric idea that has formed through um, an intention, um, especially in film, but an intention of producing capital through appropriation of indigenous culture. So, um, and that's what's happening in this culture in Germany. Um, this, I guess, performative, I wouldn't say culture, but performative uh, performance piece in Germany for a week, I guess, at a time. So it's this kind of like you, you utopic community um, being enacted that doesn't really give back to indigenous communities. So it's actually extracting and it's creating its own meaning to sacred pieces like the headdress. So, um, and actually in, in another article, it talks about like how German visitors to uh, modern reservations and um, kids visited by uh, contemporary Indian speakers are actually disappointed when indigenous people aren't playing Indian, but um, they're wearing contemporary clothes and they drive trucks and they use computers like everybody else so um, if you consider that kind of impact rate from the time that German people are school children they're reading and they're creating this idea of a person that's not existent um, through these writings by Karl May who's like so incredibly popular there. Um, it also has other impacts that it creates like an obligation on indigenous people to um, <clears throat> to this role um, uh, where like for instance the two um, indigenous people that are in the movie were there to hold workshops and answer questions and um, they couldn't really see the harm likely because they were profiting and haven't really considered the full impact of of how this kind of appropriation obligates indigenous people uh, to education of the white um, Eurocentric person or Eurocentric uh, worldview or ideal and and the the indigenous person is basically constantly defending and explaining their culture when really it should be the non um, indigenous person that is able to reflect and educate themselves because that is their responsibility. Um, so there was these layers in this in the actions of the German people who I do believe are romanticizing um, the independence they see in living a kind of connected life as described to the full uh, potential via living on the land, um, etc. So it sort of creates and reiterates all of these different stereotypes about indigenous people in that context. Um, romanticized but still stereotypical um, so and that was something that I kind of like continued to question uh, was it actually like appropriating indigenous culture because they don't really know anything about um, indigenous culture in fact like one of the people interviewed when they were faced with the reality of indigenous people that uh, live like often in con bad conditions on reserves they were shocked 
So I kind of continued to question myself and my response to it. And I thought that uh, Taylor did a really good job on presenting this in a way that is diplomatic enough to enable that space for questioning because I tend to get really frustrated um, with uh, subjects of appropriation. So um, like that consideration from another intention, um, he created a good space for that. So, But in the end, um, I agree with um, Red Hair Crow because this is an act that is not only extracting from indigenous cultures, but it's also homogenizing and reducing culture to a performance that is um, that a lot of non-Indigenous people are profiting on. So this has real-life consequences for Indigenous people and it reinforces re, um, like core aspects of colonialism um, including it's similar to this type of like appropriation and taking and reinscribing of identity. So uh, and my battery held up so I'm just gonna change it out and do my next one.